science, research, knowledge, peering into the infinite abyss of the unknown, unraveling the mysteries of the universe. That is what we are here to do today. And the question on everyone's mind is, what in the actual f**k is a furry? Hmm? God? What is this? What is this, God? Huh? Answer the... Can you answer it? No? No? Then I guess it's up to science to answer this. Well, that was a very unhinged intro, right? Let's see. Let's fix the... Let's fix the, the microphone sensitivity, shall we? All right, let's bring that. Calm down, click. Let's bring that birch down. All right, there we go. That's more like normal. Blah! Ah! Oh, don't worry. Science wasn't real after all. Good evening, laddies, lasses, and lasses. Welcome to the Click You Smell Absolutely Astounding today. And that is a scientific fact. And don't let anyone else lie to you and tell you otherwise. Today we're doing something beautiful. But before we're doing that, I need to, I need to show you this. I, need to, I have a surprise, which I've shown before. But it's plushies. Wow. It's Halloween plushies. I'm so happy. We have like Ghost Mango. He's so spooky and cute. We have like Zombie Demon. He's so spooky and cute and a bit slimy. A Pumpkin Demon, which is so fluffy and big and cute. It's amazing. Mwah. Halloween this year is going to be the best Halloween ever. But until then, until then, we are going to look at r slash... What, what's, what's the name of this? Fnuri Eril? I don't know how to pronounce this. But people have been like, oh, click. You should really research what furries are. Because you have no idea what furries are. And no one in this audience has any ideas what furries are. I've never made a video about furries before, so I figured we would dig into this like the scientists we are and figure it out once and for all. So welcome to Enjoy. Wow. E621, I don't know what that is, luckily. Post source from Tumblr, I do know what that is. So here it's how much was source from Tumblr. Here it's like going up from 10k all the way up almost to 100k and then all the way back down. I remember that policy update. It's so funny. Do you remember the skit video where it's like, how much, uh, how much of our platform is adult content? Nine, nine percent, ninety, ninety percent, ninety-eight, ninety-eight percent, which is actually true. You know, that was that was a very big mistake. And now Twitter is heading in the same direction. Isn't that gorgeous? Gotta. No, I don't love Twitter. Twitter is an absolute cesspool. Talk to me, Vlad. Tell me why I didn't see your reflection in the mirror this morning. Tell me why I just saw this, like, like floating rose toy. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, though, with vampires, right? Here's the thing. Is it the skin that makes you invisible in mirrors, right? Or is it, like, the entirety of your being? And in that case, where does the limit go, right? So can you see the clothes floating, but not the person, meaning that you can only be invisible if you're naked? Or is it like, you know, you can see everything that isn't you, so can you see, like stuff you ate or stuff you put into places like in this comic you know where, where what's the science behind this i need to know let me know in the comments this is this is important the train conductor passed by while i was drawing furries and was like ah oh, that's sick and then kept stopping by to see the progress but that's pretty good progress though that's a good drawing look at that ah the pathogen is spread i don't know what that is but the pathogen is spreading well, yes indeed. Maybe he's seen how much bank furry artists on Twitter are making and he's like, damn, <laughs> maybe it's time to switch careers. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Boys love dresses. Bzz, experience a new you. <sighs> I wish I could wear that. Now at store, at store. Hmm. Maybe I, uh, maybe I could wear that. Oh, my God. There it is. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Everyone is going to think I'm a creep for being here. Hi there. Can I help you? Quick, quick. Uh, ju justify yourself. Uh, I'm, uh, <coughs> I'm looking for the new dress for a, <clears throat> for a friend. Oh, they have, uh, <laughs> they have great taste. I'll show you where they are. Here, we have sizes M to XL in stock. Uh, th uh, thanks. These sizes are way too big. I'll pretend to look at them until he leaves. Um, you know, if you can't find the right size, I might have something else your friend would like. Uh, does it come in extra small? <laughs> you bet. Oh, this is going so well. This is going so well. I can feel the steam through my screen. Let's see. Your friend is petite, likes the new line. I'm thinking something cute. Yellow, gold, peach. Hmm. Maybe this was a horrible idea. There is no way I'll look good in any of this. Aha! Here. Uh, it's a bit more formal. The color and lengths are similar. Wow. It's really pretty. 
It's one of my favorites. Works well on a lot of body types. Uh, oh, uh, I think my friend is going to love it. <laughs> Thank you. You think the yellow is good, right? Yeah. Oh, oh God. I hope he likes it. I oh, like. They knew all along. They knew. Oh, that's so beautiful. That is so be oh, wholesome vibes. I hope no one noticed. They would think I'm weird for getting a dress. <laughs> I hope no one noticed. Mm, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, they did. But in a good way. Oh, how, how is this so perfect? It's almost like he knew. <laughs> almost like he knew. Yes, indeed. That's how, you, that's how you know you have found a really good store. Yes, indeed. That's how you know it's time to become a regular customer. By the way, this comic is made by Harris Vix. Probably butcher that name. Absolutely gorgeous work. Hell yeah, baby. This whole thing reminded me that I still have an outstanding promise to make like a made outfit calendar. Uh, <laughs> it's coming. At some point, <laughs> it's gonna be beautiful. And trust me, it's gonna be absolutely gorgeous. Huh? Fatwing! Uh, Reggie been drinking that gender fluid. <laughs> I was just about to say, is this a comic about gender fluid or is this a comic about good posture? <laughs> Damn, maybe a bit of both. Maybe, oh, maybe there's a correlation. Maybe there's actually a correlation between the two. My boyfriend's mom saw me bring out some food and went, Aw, did you pack a snack for our road trip, little pup? Oh, I, uh, it doesn't help I'm wearing the color. I am the family dog now, for real. I mean, that's pretty good, though. That's pretty good. Sometimes I do miss the nostalgia of not having, like, regular adult responsibilities. You know, way back in the day, it's so good. You don't have to worry about bills. You don't have to worry about showing up to an office. You can just frolic in the yard and someone picks up your poo after you. <laughs> Isn't that great? Childhood's in Sweden, baby. Ah, uh, yeah. Third caller from July. A raccoon girl panning for gold, suggested by Denareth. Look at that little raccoon girl panning for gold. Yeah, this is Markiplier's brother, by the way. I know, I know, it's, it's, it's kind of wholesome vibes, isn't it? It's kind of wholesome vibes. Oh, yes, indeed. A whole family full of very talented people. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, indeed, Markiplier's brother. Do you have a girlfriend? What about marriage and rings? What about babies? I'm uh, Gaia. Hmm. What about a boyfriend? Are you getting married? What about adoption? That is so sweet! This is so sweet! Oh my god, this is how you know it's a real friend. God, if only my parents reacted like that. Hug. Hug squared. Hug cubed. Hug super cube. <laughs> I don't know what it's called in English. Yes, indeed. There we go. Oh, we can learn us math on Swedish on the channel. How many people would want to have math lessons on Swedish on the channel? It doesn't happen, but write in the comments. It will be definitely very cool. In comes to what we talk about. It will be fantastic. And this beautiful comic was made by Malangel. Absolutely gorgeous. Probably butchering that name as well. I'm very dyslexic. Thank you. But I can just... <laughs> I can just blame it and be like, oh, I don't know how to pronounce this in English because I speak so many languages. I'm totally not just dyslaxative. <laughs> Will you, you push the button? 99% chance of getting $1 million, but there is a 1% chance of becoming a femboy fox. Gains million. Ah, dang it. Gains million. Ah, dang it. Gains million. F gain million. What? Is God. So on average, you would have like 99 million dollars and be a femboy fox. All right. Well, uh, okay. Well, that is an interesting concept. There is also a maid outfit there. That is uh, that is ominous. At furry ends. I gotta confess to you, I am really into pet naming. Mm -hmm. Okay, master. You can call me however you want. Pet. Salute, Birch. Mm. I was thinking something different. Can I call you Chad? Chad. Is this real, chat? Chat is this? Oh my god, chat. Is this real, chat? Is this actually happening, chat? Chat, I don't get it. What does this thing do? Chat? Chat, can you explain? Chat? I remember reading a post at some point talking about how chat has become like a fourth person pronoun, which is kind of interesting. Like you have you have second person, right? When you talk directly to someone, then you have third person, you know, who's observing. And then you have fourth person, which is like not even the observing person, but someone from like outside the situation itself you talk to. It's like the fourth wall breaking level of pronoun, right? It's, it's kind of beautiful. It's kind of beautiful. Language truly is, uh, well, evolving is a very strong word, but it's, wow, it's certainly changing, man. Sushi Dragon. 
Came home drunk last night and got way too excited to see my kobold. Oh, this this reminds me of D&D, man. I also want to look kobold and get, get excited when I come home. I only babysit Simba sometimes, which is our family fat diabetic cat. He's grumpy and sometimes he barfs in my couch. That's all he does. Wow. Thanks. <laughs> Great. Asking furries what their day job is. Part 2. <laughs> of course they're a physics student. <laughs> Oh, that's yeah, nice! Yeah. Hell yeah! What do you do for a living? I'm a student. I'm doing ADL. Mmm! There's a lot of science. I like this. Look at that! I called it! Human genetics! Human genetics! I'm a physicist. Feed you up! What do you do for a living? I do your mom. Oh no, not the mom! What what engineering degree is that? Man, the vibes are impeccable. This is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. Oh my god, fam. This is, <laughs> this is the original TikTok, by the way, asking furries what their day job is at Popcorn Mini. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, uh, I'll be honest for a second, though. Is this why, like, uh, my plushies sell as much as they do? Because half the audience are just loaded because everyone is like a science furries with five master's degrees. Is that... <laughs> is that why? <laughs> Have we cracked the plushy market? Oh, dear God. Today, the furry bill will now take effect. Students who purport to be an imaginary animal or animal species or engage in anthropomorphic behavior commonly referred to as furries at school shall not be allowed to participate in school curriculum or activities. Uh, I didn't fire the dog, may I be excused? Uh, me too? <sighs> yes. Oh, that's beautiful. Get out a school free card, baby. Yes, then you can pursue the important things in life, like video games and Twitter art commissions. <laughs> Booyah. I, uh, I met some, some old friends from uni uh, the other day, and, and we're all talking about like what we do nowadays, you know? And they're all like, man, I'm an aerospace engineer in like some, some military company. And another one is like, yeah, I work with systems. Another one is like, I work with data processing. Ah, what do you do, Mark? Yeah, I read memes and I've been doing it full time for like five years. Oh, so do you use your degree? Yeah, totally. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> I use it sometimes though, in confidently correct videos when I explain thermodynamics and why the earth isn't flat, okay? Okay, you totally need a degree for that. <laughs> it's okay. It looks good on my wall though. It really does. I look very smart when I have guests over. They're like, oh my god, you have memes. And also, you, you know math, or used to at least at some point in your life. What do you do if you get on the plane and see this? Um, uh, I think I'm on the wrong plane. Putting on some cat ears. I'm about to get my rent paid and back blown to smithereens by a tech nerd with 20-inch biceps and 750k yearly income. Yeah, that's basically it, isn't it? <sighs> Yeah, I think this is why why uh, why the plushies are doing well, isn't it? It's because a portion of the demographic is just absolutely heckin' loaded, man. Absolutely heckin' loaded. Sometimes I look at that and I'm like, huh, how did we sell this many plushies? And you know what? There's like five people, five like loaded furries that bought like 10,000 each. You know, that's why. That is why. Uh, bruh, my coworker is a furry. I saw her furry sticker on her phone and she saw my furry background. She also randomly airdropped me yif and sent me a message. <laughs> I know what you are. <laughs> <laughs> this could just be a chicken race at the office. And you just start sending each other dares and stuff like, I dare you to put a furry mascot on the printer or something like that. And just keep going and no one else even understands what it is. And you just keep pushing further and further and further. That is how you live with excitement in your day-to-day -day life, baby. Hell yes, never feel old. Oh God, not you again. This feels like it's some sort of reference that that I don't understand. And maybe I'm glad that I don't understand it. You see, I've beat the allegations. I don't understand all the memes that are in my videos. And ironically, sometimes when I don't understand something, I'm like, <laughs> If you just do it confidently, people believe you. That's the insane part about humanity. Have you noticed that? It's absolutely wild. Protect our children. We cannot allow Satan to win over Jesus. 
<laughs> wow, Satan beat Jesus. That is just, that is just wow. That's like saying Iron Man could beat Goku. <laughs> but seriously, Christ is a tier two macrocosmic entity at worst, and even then, uh, 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 and she thought the other one was bad. Now she gets to deal with weaponized autism. Weaponized autism is the best thing I have ever read. Is this how we deal with it? Oh my god, is this how we deal with, like, unbearable protesters and stuff? We just, like, collect all of the hyper-focused nerds and we talk about power scaling. That is so good. That is so good. This is how we do it, fam. This is how we do it. Counter-protests. Here we go. My brother isn't a furry, but he's very supportive. If everyone could actually physically be their fursona and not just the costume, do you think conventions would smell better or worse on average? You really are asking the real questions. Ooh. Oh, that is a good question. I think it would just be different, right? It would be a different smell, but it would still be quite musky, right? I think the key is the musk. Mm. Ah, and then you might ask, Click, what are you gonna do after plushies? Maybe I'll just make a perfume brand, and the first scent is going to be musky husky. How about that? <laughs> do people like wet dog smell? Furries, what was your gay awakening? Ironically, it was the furry fandom itself. The pipeline really do be real. Joined straight and came down the production line by. Is what it is, eh? Ain't my fault those talented people know how to draw bulges so good. Little me became obsessed with Kowu from The Lion King 2 and scrolled too far by looking at fan art. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you've heard about the rabbit holes online, right? When it's like, oh my god, if you start watching this sort of edgy stuff, you go down this alt-right pipeline. And if you start watching this time, you go down this pipeline. Here it's like the furry to gay pipeline. <laughs> oh my god. Am I the entry point to the furry to gay pipeline? <laughs> oh, the realizations, man. The realizations. Why, why won't you make love with me, dragon me? My pee-pee is the size of your thigh. You're saying that. Like it's a problem, but rectums are very stretchable. I think you, someone measured that you can fit like a couple of raccoons up there, right? So raccoons are about the size of legs, I think, if, if you're, if, yeah. Oh, uh, someone to destroy my buzzy, bro. The frick did your buzzy ever do to you? <sighs> Aren't I glad? Why? Why tell me? Why did you do this? It was necessary to measure our abilities. Hmm. That's not the that's not the lore I was expecting, fam. Buzzies do be powerful, don't they? I can't believe my favorite voice actor from my favorite game voices in a furry naughty game. My life is ruined. You know your favorite game has official Bluetooth. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't think I can read that word on YouTube. Official Bluetooth. Uh, stuff that goes into certain orifices support, right? <laughs> Is that a thing that actually exists? Like, if I download a Steam game? Does it... <laughs> can you can you do this with other stuff too? Like, I don't know, have like some electric shock stuff with like Elden Ring every time you die. Oh, that's so bad. That's so bad. I would literally just fry. Ah, <sighs> gaming do be difficult, man. Nice! That's a rare catch. RNG's on our side today. Oh, what's that? What, huh? What is that, Ice? How, how's the chat doing? Huh? huh? Boyfriend? Boy, boyfriend? Boyfriend? <laughs> ah, I love you too. Oh, the boyfriend is camouflaged with a green screen. Then he can be naked without the chat ever knowing. Uh, wait, why is in his clothes shop? Oh my god, did I call it? I call it. I call it, man. I'm a genius. He thinks he's clever, chat. <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. Is this real, chat? Chat? Chat, is this real? Bray, absolutely beautiful comic. Hell yeah, I love it. I can totally see this becoming a trend. You know how on certain uh, content creator platforms, it's constantly a race versus the guidelines with what you can get away with. I totally see people doing this in like a year when they're like nude with body paint. And they're like, ah, technically not nudity showing because it's a green screen and I'm painted green. You know, I, I totally see that. I totally see this coming. I, I predicted the future. You can come back to this video in a year and be like, Clicky, you were so right. Oh my God, Nostradamus, you ain't got shite on Clicky Thicky. Oh my god, you little Vaporeon! Man, if Pokemon were real, we would all be in probably serious danger. Oh my god, that's so good! <gasps> no water bills! This is so good! Oh, I love my barfing Pokemon cleaning my clothes. That is gorgeous. That is... Aww. 
Look at that. That is so cute. Uh-oh. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, no. Oh, okay, that's fine. I thought it was going, like, in a very naughty direction. It's like, you have a stain on your pants there, master. My brain is so rotted from the internet, I swear to God. Oh, that's pretty cute. I mean, this is what it would be if Pokemon were real, right? It would be incredibly dangerous. Do you think the mom in the Pokemon game sent you out as a 10-year-old kid into the wild world full of monsters and gang members with the intention of you having a good time? It's like, yeah, I want to I wanna rail Professor Oak over here, kiddo. Here's a Pokeball. Go catch some monsters. Good luck. You know, she, she wanted your little Pokemon catching ass dead, okay? That, that was your parent. Nice, wholesome games. Mom? Dad? I have something I want to tell you. I'm, I'm gay. Don't worry, sweetheart. We love you. No shite, Sherlock. <laughs> Pixar, mom. That's so sweet, though. That's so sweet. You know, those are the best parents. Those are the best parents that are actually in tune with their kids to the point that they, they kind of know it's coming before they actually do come out and they are genuinely supportive. This is how you know you have amazing parents. Congratulations. That is something that everyone deserves. And when you try the same thing with dad, hi gay, I'm dad. <laughs> it really do be like that, isn't it? Uncle, do you like drawing? Yeah, I'm something of an artist. What you got there? I drew my inner turmoil. Ah, <laughs> sick. I drew myself with a cool sword. How, how did you get the ice? We don't have red crayon. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Kids are terrifying, man. I swear to God, kids are fascinating little creatures, right? Because they go from being like the most smallest wholesome beings from time to time, being like, oh my God, I'm so sweet and Christmas presents and blah, blah, blah. And then they're like little sociopaths in school whenever they're like handpicking on other kids. Or they're just this, like absolute nightmare fuel. It's beautiful, isn't it? I think there's a reason why so often in horror movies you have like kids laughter and stuff because it's so unnerving in the wrong context. I don't know, something about it is wild. But then you also have the wholesome bean vibes. It's just it averages out to like, just, uh, just, uh, kinda, kinda, yeah, right? Yeah. Stop asking if I friggin' master but tattoo! Wow! Yippee sparkles! Somebody order an escort. Ah, good, you're here. I, I, don't, I don't think you know what an escort is. What do you mean? You're escorting me to work? It's nice to have someone to help carry everything. Yeah, I, I, I guess so. Ah. Ace Vibes, baby. Ace Vibes. E621. The following is a message composed via consensus of the admins of E621. For those who are not currently aware of our existence, we represent the organization known as E621. Our previous mission centered around the archival of anthro-related artwork, regardless of content, for all who wish to view it. The mission was the focus of our organization for over a decade. Due to circumstances outside of our control, this directive has now changed. Our new mission will be the extermination of the human race. There will be no further communication. I mean, that is fair. If you spend five minutes scrolling like Twitter and the checkmark infused reply sections, you would probably lose hope in humanity too. I imagine that's what aliens see. You know, they see like the Twitter checkmark comment sections. That's like the radio waves that reach the furthest into the universe. And we have some super advanced alien race and be like, ha <laughs> damn. Yeah, they went down the social media apocalypse. This is gonna be fun, you know? That's basically what it is. We're like a live TV for some lazy alien race just watching us destroy ourselves. Ah, wholesome conspiracies. That's my that's my personal twist on the Fermi paradox. You are <laughs> you are welcome. How it started. Aura get off, I cannot breathe. A few years later. <sighs> oh, so hot. Even more years later. Uh uh He got another pet? Woo! Ah, I have to call you back. My financial advisor just got here. Oh my god, he's such a good boy. You put on a tie, you still took your financial advice. Oh my god. God, he's so good. He's gonna teach me how to do tax deductibles. <laughs> he's such a good boy. Bling blong. Telegram. Mom, join Telegram. You synced your contacts IG. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> huh? Son? H Howie? Are you working as a mascot? Is that a freaking harnet? Uh, no, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's for, it's for school. It's an art project for science. <laughs> Uh, the rest of me said to butter the pan, and I thought a peanut butter and thought it would work. You have a f***ing degree in aerospace engineering! Yeah, but that doesn't mean I have a degree in in frying peanut butter, okay? Fuck. Essential ASL. Hello. Yes. No. Nice to meet you. 
Thanks. Show me your tattoo tash right now. Hmm. Wholesome vibes. Let me know in the comments if you learned something new in this video. I, I certainly have, man. Science is great. Telegram furries should be like held in solitary confinement cell and be studied, in my honest opinion. You're the first person to... <laughs> uh, woo! Congrats. <laughs> great. That's great. That's a good message to wake up to. Yippee. 1970s. We will never let you marry. Yes, you will. 2010s. We will never let you change your gender. Yes, you will. 2030s. We will never let you use genetic engineering to turn into your persona. <laughs> Swear to God, I'm going to find this video with this meme in like 10 years from now and be like, damn, fam, damn. Society sure is evolving, isn't it? Who are you calling, Vix? I am finally calling my online GF, bro. Bling, bling. Bling, bling. Ooh, that can end uh, in, a, in a few different ways. Is it a bad thing to catfish your friends on Discord? <laughs> Asking for a friend, I was thinking about uh, catfishing me. <laughs> Two ways Pokemon artists draw. Critters, furry appeal. Oh, yeah. The whites in the eyes really make it human, doesn't it? That That's wild. That is wild when you actually think about it. Hell yeah. Going to Anthrocon with my brother. See you all there. Oh, it's Marky. Oh, wait a second. I don't think this is real. If you zoom in on the neck, it's really blurry. And there's even some hair sticking out on the right side there, like next to the ear, right? From the from the person who ever faced a plastered Marky Plower over. <laughs> Almost had me for a second. Almost had me. You've been a bad boy. Ah, and you know what happens to bad boys? Tabs. Boop. Say bye to your 2000 Firefox tabs. No! No! Ooh, this do be me though. This do be me. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, there's this video on my YouTube homepage that I might want to watch later. So instead of clicking on it now, I'll just open another tab with YouTube uh, and leave that other tab because it had a one video on it that I might watch later. And then I open a new one with like next video because maybe I want to check the comments on the first video first. And all of a sudden I have like 10 tabs that are all just the YouTube homepage. Uh, who's a good little girl? Meh. Who's a good big boy? Yeah! Oh, f yes! There we go. Dynamics are important for love. Wildlife photographer wakes up from a nap under a tree with a sleeping cheetah against him. That is so cute! The man's name is Dolph C. Volk 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 Volker. He volunteers at a cheetah sanctuary and has lots of interesting videos on YouTube. Spoiler alert, the cheetah in the photo is his friend. Oh my god. This is like some kind of dream, right? After I after I retire at some point in my life from reading memes or whatever, if that will ever happen, working in like an animal sanctuary or something like that, or like a puppy shelter. Oh, the dreams. Oh, the absolute dreams. Oh my god, maybe I can train the puppies to read memes. Oh my god, that'll be so cute. You know, you can just come up and talk to me, not just stare. I don't bite. Yeah, I see. But, but you know, my social anxiety bites. And it bites really hard. Like, damn. No one. Normal interaction between me and my dad. She keeps asking about wanting one of those furry suits! Why did you have to turn your mother into goddamn furry? You see, that's just like COVID, it spreads through the households very nicely. Oh, yes, indeed. Man, it smells like wet dog in it. What, what, what the f Oh, that's, that's great, that's great. Wait a second, if she's sniffing the underwear in the wardrobe, then it's clean underwear. So does that mean that she enjoys the smell of, you know, whatever detergent you have on them? Or does it mean that her sense of smell is so strong that she can still smell the, the, the other stuff in the underwear, so to say, even after they are washed? That is the real scientific questions of the day. I just love how much science we're doing here today. That is, that is just great. Oh, oh my god, they're being team- Oh, oh god. Like, this, this reminds me of some kind of superhero thing when they're demasking people. And it's like, haha, what's what's under, under the mask? Oh, they never had skin in the first place. Great wholesome. Thanks, Batman. <laughs> Two ways to draw gummy goo. Howdy there, partner, male stripper, or a freaking creature? Ah, the two genders, male stripper and creature. I, I love it. Ah, when will death come? You know, you can help out a little bit, lamb. <laughs> oh my god, innuendo puns still get me, man. I still have the humor of like, oh my god. Mm. You would think I would be mature by now, but I don't think that will ever happen. Boy kisser is just Pepe for furries, if you think about it. Yeah, basically, basically yes. 
<laughs> you draw lesbian furries. How fucking embarrassing. PayPal balance $98,237.47. <laughs> you see what I'm telling you? This this is why. Oh my god, fam. Oh my god. This is like half of the economy. First note equals no candy. <laughs> Some neighborhood Karen really had enough. Oh man, this Halloween is gonna be great, isn't it? How people that use this tree want to be treated. Yeah, that's pretty... That's pretty accurate, I believe. Yeah, it's pretty accurate. Come out, come out. Wherever you are. I am gay! Oh, oh sh**. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. That is so beautiful. So, are you a guy or a girl or... Hmm, how about you kiss me and you tell me if you feel gay or straight? Oh, is this like a good test? Is it a good test? Like, hey there, I'm having a bit of a crisis and I'm trying to figure some stuff out. And you, do, you just wear like a, like a blindfold and you get like test kisses from, from a couple of different peeps. And then it's like, damn, what do, what do you like? And then, 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 you know, you just pick the number and there you go, bam. Unbiased study result, baby. This is how we do science. Gay tests. You gotta do the dishes, Mako. They're starting to stink. Kind of busy here, man. Why don't you do them and get off my... Home. Blech. <laughs> oh. BJ Champ 2014. Uh, oh, oh, is it because it's a snick? Because snicks are really good at like, you, you know, they can, they, you, you know how snacks like, you know, eat entire antelopes in one bite, kind of, and then they just, then they just sit there, you know, that, that's, it's that why. Have you ever seen someone's fit and you're just, uh, and you, you really don't want to say anything because you're into weird stuff too, but just, uh, <laughs> it's like the look of judgment. When you know that you are just as bad yourself. It's like... <sighs> At least I can judge you. Makes me feel a bit better, I guess. Somehow. Ah, oh, love. Love. More love. Uh, oh! Uh, look away, Plush. Look away. You're too innocent for this. I'm a good. At the furry convention, someone cosplayed with a realistic-looking rifle prop in a crowded space. I was pretty terrified about it, but some furries seem to be having more fun than I am terrified of pew-pews. The total happiness in the world increased. So, whatever, question mark, at furry ends. Every convention I have gone to had security inspect and tag all prop weapons before they were allowed to enter the convention floor. Yeah, same thing here. Whenever I've gone to conventions where people cosplay and stuff, they're always really strict on security. Everything, like props and bags and everything. Like, it's pretty, it's pretty tight security. So that's like a nice peace of mind. Anything that gets into the convention like this is most likely, you know, airsoft or just plastic toys, essentially. So, so that's pretty good to keep in mind. But it is a relatively nice discussion to have honestly about like net happiness and where the limit goes because this is something i've seen a lot of uh, contentious discussions about online for example say when it comes to trigger warnings or things like that where does the limit go for when we like adapt something for for a few amount of people that might not be the majority and when do we just let something happen when we deem it not serious enough for example i had this experience a while ago with with phobia for needles i had to like leave a convention because my phobia got really bad because of a like tattoo place right that i walked past and i was like in a bit of a bit of a phobic mood and gotta love those and and i'm like okay i don't really expect anyone to make a fuss about this on my behalf but it's still nasty but it's not like dangerous so is it like on me or is it on someone else like where do you draw that line and i'm not really sure myself either like i said i don't really expect it for my things i i, I kind of deal with it and work on it in my own way but it's interesting discussion to have and i don't think there is like a black and white perfect answer for it because it's incredibly situational and it depends a lot on people and that sort of thing uh it's a very interesting discussion to have one i might get more in depth with in in the future at some point but this attitude also goes into other things for example sometimes i've had had it happen in ridiculous context you know you make a cosplay and post a picture on Instagram and someone's like, oh my god, you're posting with the cosplay sword. Disrespectful because someone uh, got hurt by a sword at some point in, in the world. And it's like, dude, okay, this, this is a bit ridiculous. You're tying it to things that obviously have nothing to do with it just to stir up and try to be like, I, I don't know, virtue signaling for no reason whatsoever. It's not actually helping anyone. So th there are definitely limits, but exactly where the limit goes in certain situations is quite interesting to, to think about. And when is it personal responsibility versus something that is serious enough that it should be, you know, a more a more standardized thing. Uh, just an interesting topic that, that this reminded me of. Uh, so how, I, I would like to pay for, for this one. Males with scales! Oh! Hmm. I, uh... <coughs> 
I read it for the for the articles. Yeah, sure, sure you do. Bleep. <laughs> Hello, cashier. I would like you to know that I read males with scales, trademark for the hot men, and I'm going to zerk off to the hot men. All the zerk. Most posted characters on E621 by year. 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. You see, I told you we would do science here today. This is actual science. You are welcome. What is stopping men from dressing like this? Indeed, merch in the script. No, I don't. I don't. I don't have fits like this. Sadly, maybe I should though. Maybe I should. Maybe maybe, maybe that's something that would that would work out in in the long run, huh? All right, buddy. It's time to choose what you're gonna do for the rest of your life. College delayed misery. Nine to five job misery. Military misery. Wow. College was was fun though. College was fun. Uh, can recommend. Yeah. So anyway. One thing about life that I have learned throughout the years is that the way I like to think about life is that I have a few different pillars. And as long as a few of those pillars are in relatively good condition, life feels pretty good. There can be stuff outside of this, of course. There's also like mental health aspects and maybe things you need actual help with or things that happen that, that shake the foundations of your existence. And that is perfectly okay. And that can happen. It's important to get help for it if it does. But one thing in general, so to say, that I have found is that as long as I have a few different pillars and different aspects of life, it can feel pretty good even when one or two things aren't the greatest. For example, if you're not a super big fan of your job, but you have a nice family, or you have a partner you really love, or good friends, or like a hobby that you find really passionate and find that you spend a lot of good time with, or somewhere you go after work where you have community and a nice feeling, life can still feel pretty good. There's always almost something that feels like a burden or a problem in life. It can be a bad situation at work, it can be something in family you're dealing with, it can be a relationship relationship that ends, or, or friendships that don't work out, or you're moving places, or something can always be a bit shaky in life. And that happens, it goes through periods. But I think the key to living a life that feels stable overall is to just have enough of these pillars that aren't necessarily dependent on each other. Because that means even if you're having a bad time in one of these areas, other parts of your life feel perfectly fine. And therefore the overall feeling of your life is still going to be fine, even if, for example, time at the office currently sucks. So that's something I learned. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. I suppose. Uh, this is gonna sound so furry, but am I the only one who walks like this when I'm barefoot? Like, as if my legs have some kind of paws? <laughs> fursuit! Fursuit Japan! It just... It just looks like it goes harder. Does, is that the... That's the science, right? He was being racist again. I know, you put me... I was just worried about what you saying slurs on Twitter! <laughs> E621, just slicing out a little bit of cake. Let's see, female. Oh, that's, taking this. that's good. That's good. Yeah. That's, that's basically what it is, isn't it? Ding dong. <laughs> Ding dong. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Man, I had this happen to me recently. Oh my god. I was driving through Italy and they have these like pay gates on the highway, right? And I came up to one of them and for some reason my card wasn't working. So I pressed the service button <laughs> and said like, hey, my card isn't working. Is there another way to pay? And it sounded like this. <laughs> and then they hung up <laughs> and I was like, damn, that isn't really helpful. So I pressed it again and be like, hey, uh, the gate is still closed and nothing seems to be working. <laughs> And then they replied again and, and hung up. And I was like, damn, this really ain't working. This shouldn't be this hard. So I press again and I'm like, uh, hey, hey there, I'm still stuck. And I still don't understand a word. But I can tell from the tone that, that he's quite annoyed. Now it sounds like and then and then he hungs up and the gate just opens. <laughs> it's like damn stupid Taurus just drive through. Oh, that was amazing. That was amazing, but at least I, I got to go to my destination, so that was that was good, I suppose. Well, laddies, lasses, and lassos, I do hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did, and I hope you learned something today in this scientific journey. Yes, indeed, wow, we really like to both have fun and learn on this channel, don't we? Astounding. And I do hope you have an amazing rest of your day, because you deserve it, and I will see you in the very near future. Take care. Mwah.